You all should know Red Beard has a 70mm A10. But now he has a 64mm. Leaving only the 30mm on one end and the 80 and higher. This should start to freak you out. But, it's, so cute thou. A little 64mm A10 Thunderbolt. And you say they have one even smaller? I little baby 30mm. Ah, I'll call it a, A10 Spark. Make him get it. I want it now. And so it begins. This is how it starts. Please don't hit the like button. Don't comment. If Red Beard sees it, he will buy the rest. Please pray. Danger aside, I must say this. The E-Flight A-10 Thunderbolt 2 twin 64mm EDF remains the easiest to fly high performance model of the Air Force's A-10s yet. And this version comes equipped with even more advantages, including the real-time telemetry capability of smart technology to name a few. This model is a great recreation of the Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt 2 a single-seat, twin-turbofan, straight-wing, subsonic attack aircraft. Developed by Fairchild Republic for the United States Air Force. In service since 1976, it is named for the Republic P-47 Thunderbolt, but is commonly referred to as the Warthog, or simply, Hog. The A-10 was designed to provide close air support to friendly ground troops by attacking armored vehicles, tanks, and other enemy ground forces. It is the only production-built aircraft designed solely for close air support to have served with the U.S. Air Force. Its secondary mission is to direct other aircraft in attacks on ground targets, a role called Forward Air Controller Airborne. Aircraft used primarily in this role are designated OA-10. Oh my! I think I want him to buy the rest of them too. I'm freaking out. You see? Freaks are dangerous. You viewers are on your own. Hitting the like button and commenting only makes him worse. I'm out of here. Yeah, it's that water.